welcome to a special episode of Little Rody. I'm Dave, and this is Red. Today we'll be traveling all over the state of Rhode Island in search of fun and interesting things to do in the world of art. That's right, Red. You gotta have art. Hey, it's Rhodey, my little Rhode Island, the greatest little state, the best in the world. Come with us and meet Rhode Island, the greatest place for kids. There's Burrowville and Bristol and Barrington, Central Falls and Providence and Cumberland. There's Coventry and Westerly and Tiverton, Lincoln and Johnson and South Kingston. Hey, it's a Rhodey, my little Rhode Island. Greatest little state, the best in the world. Come with us and meet Rhode Island, the greatest place for kids. There's Foster, Gloucester, Richmond, and North Kingston, Narragansett, Newport, and Little Compton, West Warwick, One Socket, North Smithfield, too. Paul Tuckett, what Tuckett? We'll go there with you. It's Rhodey, my little Rhode Island, the greatest little state, the best in the world. Come with us and meet Rhode Island. The greatest place for kids. Gee, I wonder where Red is. I thought he was coming with us. Oh well, he'll turn up somewhere. Hey, the roadmobile's all loaded up. We're ready to hit the road. First stop, Saunders Town. It's a great day to see some art. I wish Red was here. <laughs> hey, Red! You made it! <laughs> Where did you fly in from? <laughs> well, just sit back and enjoy the ride. It won't take long. <laughs> Every artist has to have a starting place, and this was famous American painter Gilbert Stewart's birthplace. He painted portraits of many famous colonial leaders. His best known portraits are of President George Washington. This is Carol and Erin. They're both docents here at the museum. What's a docent? A docent is a guide. A guide? So you show everyone around the Gilbert Stewart Museum, huh? Yep. How do you become a guide? Well, you have to study about Gilbert Stewart and you have to memorize different rooms on a sheet of paper. Is it hard? Kinda. But you're good at it, huh? Mm-hmm. How long have you been a guy here, Eric? Six years. Six years? Wow! You practically live here! Buk, buk, buk. Kira! Yes. Who's this a sculpture of? This is Gilbert Stewart. Gilbert Stewart the painter, wow! So you know a lot of the stuff about the museum, huh? Yes. Wow, that's a really interesting painting. Did Gilbert Stewart paint it? Yes, he did. Is there a story behind it? Very interesting story. Mrs. Richard Yates was a very wealthy woman from Philadelphia. Several painters had painted her portrait, but she didn't like them because they painted her with her eyes crossed. But when she came to the studio of Gilbert Stewart, he came up with a smart idea to paint her head turned sideways so that you can't tell her eyes are crossed. Wow, that's pretty smart. I know what else I could have done. He could have painted her with a mask on like Batman. What is that, funny? You're not laughing. <laughs> Gilbert Stewart was born here in 1735. His father operated a snuff mill here, powered by the waters from the mill pond. Today, you can visit the mill, the park-like grounds, and Colonial House. Red and I really like looking at the water wheels. They power the huge wooden gears in the mill. The sound of the water running the wheels is really cool, especially on a hot day. another great part of the museum. It's the grist mill. And this is Billy. He's one of the guides. Billy, 
What can you tell me about the grist mill? Well, this is the grist mill, and it was built in 1662. Originally, it was used as a sawmill to cut wood and make things. And then, in 1685, it was changed to a grist mill where Mr. Hammond ground corn for the famous Rhode Island Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes? I love Johnny Cakes. They made them right here? Yep. Can you come on inside and show me around? Sure. Come on in. all this stuff, Billy? These are the grinding stones and this is how they ground the corn. Oh, Red's here. Red loves corn. Hey, Red, tell us one of your corny jokes. the museum schedule. They have special events for kids. Family oriented. There are musicians, crafts, and other activities. You can even help in creating a community painting. Red got a face painting, but it came off when he went bobbing for apples. The grounds at the museum are really special. There are fantastic flower gardens and rowboats on the mill pond. The Gilbert Stewart Birthplace Museum. A great start to finding art. Cause you gotta have art! <laughs>